Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing at the moment? I hope you're all as well as possible. I thought today I would do a video that's a little bit light-hearted, something that you can just watch and escape the rest of the world with. And it is a Disney-based video. If you don't know me very well, then you won't know that I am quite the Disney addict. Um, I am, yeah, a little bit obsessed with Disney, basically. Um, and someone actually requested quite a while ago now that I do a video based on my favourite Disney films um, and so I thought I would. Um, so this video will be my favourite Disney animated classic feature films. Um, I've decided not to include Pixar because I can do that in another, in another video if you like and I thought it would make it a little bit long as well. Um, so yeah, I've chosen 10 of my favourite films. Um, it was quite difficult to choose because I just, I love all Disney films to be quite honest. Um, and so yeah, I was like going through my DVD collection like, oh, which ones are my favourites? And yeah, I've got 10, so you may say that that is like too many for favourites, but I thought I'd just do my top 10. It's not going to be in like a particular order, it's just 10 of my favourite films. Um, and yeah, I'll just go through them, tell you a little bit about why I like each one, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. So the first of my favourite films, and I'm actually going to do them in the order of which they came out because I thought that was just the easiest way to do it. Um, so the first one is Cinderella. Um, I collect the um, limited edition covers, which are these shiny covers, um, and I do actually have all of the animated classics um, in these covers, and they do look very nice together. <laughs> um, but yeah, Cinderella is one of my favourites. I have liked this film ever since I was little. I remember watching it as a child and just finding it really magical. I mean, it's it's kind of like your stereotypical fairy tale story, isn't it? Um, but I, I mean, I quite liked Cinderella because I felt like she was like the underdog and, um, you know, she went from being not noticed and not sort of appreciated to being a princess, which I thought was quite nice. Um, and also I liked how she kind of, you know, came back against her sister, her stepsisters and her stepmother. Um, but I also really liked, like, the little bits of magic, like, um, I liked the um, pumpkin being turned into the carriage. Um, I like the two little mice, Jacques and Gus. Um, and yeah, I just, I love the music as well and I don't know, I just feel like Cinderella is, yeah like the princess I don't know like her her gown when she goes to the ball is just beautiful and I just think as a child I remember I just used to watch it and think I want to be a princess like Cinderella um so yeah it's definitely one of my favorites it's just one of those ones you can put on and sing along to as I said I really enjoy the music I like I just like the magic about Cinderella so yeah Cinderella is definitely a favourite of mine. My next favourite Disney classic is Peter Pan. Um, so some of these are going to be quite like obvious favourites that are very sort of popular with everybody but I have got a few that are like less well known, less popular. Um, this is obviously quite a popular one, a lot of people like Peter Pan. Um, again this is one that I watched as a child and I just remember really enjoying it then and I do now. I liked the fact that there was this, again, like the magic and this sort of magic boy that just came and took these children away. I mean, the more you think about it, the more it seems a bit odd, but we didn't think about it like that as a, as a child. But I liked the fact that, you know, this magic boy came and took the kids away to this like magical fantasy land. And I don't know, I suppose it's just quite a nice escape. Um, I really like Wendy, I think she's quite feisty and um, kind of stands up for herself a bit which is quite nice and also I like Tinkerbell because she's the same, um, I mean I'm, I'm a big fan of Tink and I like her attitude and again the magic. Um, I, I've always loved um, Never Never Land, I just think again it's like one of those places that you think of for like escaping to where there's, I don't know, I suppose as a child I kind of thought maybe there is this other land where 
all these magical things happen and there's mermaids and there's um, pirates and all that kind of stuff and I guess even now I'm a grown-up I still like to think that maybe that might exist um, but yeah I love it I love the scene where they're kind of flying over London um, to go to Never Never Land and again I quite like the music and the story and yeah I just I think it's a really magical story and it's also quite fun it's not too scary when you're a child um, some of the Disney films are very sad and scary and I kind of watch them now and I think I can't believe I watched that as a child because yeah it's really sad um, but this one's more of a fun one I think and although there are definitely like sad and sort of scary bits it's a lot sort of more light-hearted to watch and yeah I absolutely love it um, so that's another one that, that I'm looking forward to showing to Noah and Maisie when they get a bit older um, because I think they're gonna really enjoy this one my next favorite Disney film is 101 Dalmatians again this is another one that I used to love watching as a child and I love watching it now I also really enjoy the um, live-action one that they did which there was was probably one of the first live-action ones that they did I'm guessing um, but yeah, I just used to, I love used to love watching this with my sister, um, and I think it's because I don't know. I've always been an animal lover. When I was a child, I was just I was obsessed with animals. I used to read like the animal art books, and I was like really into like becoming possibly a vet or something like that. And so this kind of indulged my animal <laughs> uh, obsession. But I just, I love the, uh, the story, um, the fact that all of a sudden they've got like all these puppies and they're really cute. Um, but I also just like, I don't know, yeah, I like the story of it. I like um, the kind of adventure that the dogs go on. I love the bit where um, they're doing that like twilight bark, where they're like barking to different dogs and it's going like all the way around London. Um, because now that we have dogs we kind of I can relate to that because like I don't know a dog will start barking somewhere and then ours will go and then someone else's will go and it always reminds me of that from the film um I also really like Cruella de Vil as a villain I thought she was a really good villain um when I was a lot younger she used to scare me quite a lot and I think that makes quite a good villain um I don't know whether it's like her appearance or the fact that she is trying to get these puppies and you know that's just it's not very nice um but I've always yeah, thought she'd made a good villain and I think that that's really good in a Disney story love the music and I love the ending and the fact that they just end up with even more puppies than they started with so yeah another really good Disney film so my next favourite classic is one that isn't really talked about much and I don't really know why um, but it is The Rescuers. Um, this is another one, I mean most of these I watched as a young child um, although as they kind of go on obviously I was getting older um, but yeah we also had this on audiobook I think and I just remember listening to it over and over again because I absolutely loved the story. Um, I think I enjoyed it because it was a kind of adventure story and they were going on a mission and yeah it was very much like good versus bad and I won't go too much into it if you haven't seen it but yeah they these two um, mice who are called Bernard and Miss Bianca <laughs> nearly forgot that um, have got to go and find this orphan called Penny um, and yeah I just I think I liked the kind of there's a bit of like a thrill in this one because it's the thrill of like them trying to find her and um, there's a baddie in it who they've got to kind of overcome and I don't know I just think it's nice because it's got lots of different sort of challenges and they come up against lots of different obstacles and in typical Disney fashion you know they get through it and it ends happily but yeah it's not something that I really see talked about or mentioned very much but it's something that I kind of have a place for in my heart because it's just something that I loved as a child and yeah I just 
I think it's a really lovely story. So if you haven't watched it um, or read it, then I would definitely recommend giving it a try because I think it's a really nice story. <laughs> My next favourite animated classic is probably one of the most popular Disney films, I'm guessing, and it is Beauty and the Beast. Um, I mean, it is a stereotypical Disney film of sort of girl meets boy and, you know, it all kind of works out. Although I quite like the fact that, you know, there's a little bit of a difference because the Beast is obviously not a typical handsome prince and I think it's quite a nice way to show children that you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it doesn't you don't necessarily have to kind of conform to social expectations of beauty so I quite like the kind of message behind it but I mean I think I just loved it as a child again because Belle was quite an ordinary girl and she got the prince and that's quite a nice thing for anybody to kind of think could happen um but yeah I mean the music is definitely one of my favorites from this I just absolutely love the songs and I, yeah I would quite happily sing along to it I love the fact that all of the um different household things come to life when they go to the beast's castle um and I lo well I love all of Belle's different outfits um and yeah she's just she's one of my favorite Disney princesses so much so that for my 30th birthday I actually dressed up as her um because we had I did a like uh fancy dress Disney party and yeah I came as Belle um and wearing that big yellow dress and having my hair all done I just felt yeah I felt like Belle and it was quite nice um but yeah it is probably if I had to pick one Disney film I think this might be my favorite I also really loved the live action one that they did I thought Emma Watson was fantastic um I loved some of the extra songs that they put into that one and yeah I just thought they stuck to the story really nicely and portrayed it in a really nice way um but I just think you can't beat the actual animated one. Another favourite that is pretty popular amongst everybody is Aladdin. Um, again, this was one that I used to really enjoy watching with my siblings when I was younger. Um, I just think it's quite a fun story, isn't it? Um, Aladdin's very cheeky and quite sort of like Jack the Lad type character. And it's just quite fun seeing him you know go through this story of trying to win over the princess um the genie is by far one of my favorite characters um he yeah it's just fantastic and it's really sad that robin williams is no longer here um but i just loved his sayings i loved his songs i loved his kind of like wackiness and just yeah fun um and yeah, I just, I really like this. I used to get quite scared at the beginning um, when he goes to like the Cave of Wonders and it kind of goes from being like okay to being really scary. That used to really terrify me. And Jafar was, yeah, definitely one of my scariest villains. I, I used to absolutely hate him. Um, but I would still quite happily watch it because I loved like the rest of the film and, you know, Jafar is a good villain. Um, loved again the live action i thought it was brilliant um the music again fantastic um i mean who doesn't sing along to a whole new world um and also i went to see it in the theater in london and that was by far the best um west end show i think that i have seen um fantastic i don't know if it's still out but if you ever get a chance to see it definitely give it a go because both my mum and i went and we were just bowled over it was fantastic um so yeah i am a big aladdin fan another of my disney favorites is the lion king um again this is quite a popular stereotypical favorite but i do just love it the music i think is like the best part of the lion king and it just fits so well with the story I had forgotten quite how sad this was until i watched the live remake and when simba's dad dies Oh my gosh, I was in the cinema and 
I had like tears coming down my face. I was like, how on earth did I watch this when I was younger? Um, I guess when you're younger, maybe you don't like pick up on that kind of stuff so much, but yeah, oh my goodness, it makes me cry. Um, but I like the fact that it's also got a lot of like fun bits. I love Timon and Pumbaa um, and that like relationship with Simba. And I just think it's got so many like beautiful quotes in it. And yeah, I just think it's a fantastic, fantastic film. There's nothing I can say that I don't like about it. Um, again, watched the live remake and thought that was very good. Um, but yeah i do love the animated classic i think more um i don't it's difficult because i don't think there's a live remake that i like more than the animated one i would say like some of them are on a par but i think with this one i don't know i just can't beat the animated one my next favorite film is another one that i think is quite underrated and that is bolt um again i don't hear many people talking about this you don't see much stuff in like the Disney store or anything like that but I think it's a really good film um I love Bolt I mean I think he's adorable anyway um but I just think it's a really fun film I love the little hamster called Rhino I think he's just hilarious there's a lot of laughs in this one um it's got that like typical kind of action in it um but it's quite funny as well um and I didn't watch this one until I was a lot older um I can't remember what year this came out um I won't spend ages trying to work it out but um yeah I didn't watch it till I was a lot older and I think if this had been out when I was um a, like a child I think I really would have enjoyed this one because like I said it's got like quite a lot of funny like lines in it and funny things that happen and yeah Rhino the hamster is just hilarious um but I like it because it's not necessarily a typical like Disney princess film it's something a little bit different um and it's got as I said a really good like action storyline they're trying to kind of save somebody and go against the forces of evil but at the same time you've got a really cute dog <laughs> so yeah again if you haven't watched this one give it a try because I think it's a really good film and let me know what you think. Right, so we have two films left to show you and the next one is Tangled. I absolutely love Tangled and I'm gonna be a bit controversial here but I actually think I prefer Tangled to Frozen. Um, Frozen's a good film but I just, I just love Tangled. Um, I love the fact that the princess in it is, she's not very sort of submissive or anything she's a very independent princess you know she wants to be the one that um saves herself and that you know is the kind of hero and stuff and i just love it i think it's funny i think it's sad in places um it's got some of my favorite disney songs in it the song that they sing when all the lanterns are coming up is quite possibly the song that I would like to walk down the aisle to um <laughs> yeah I mean I'm not getting that way anytime soon but it's definitely a song that I think is quite special um yeah and actually that scene is one of my favorite Disney scenes I just think it's beautiful but yeah I just I absolutely love it I love the music like I said I love the fact that it's got a princess in it that just isn't very stereotypical I quite enjoy um Flynn as well I think he's quite a fun prince um and I just love the story and yeah it is I would say above Frozen let me know what you think <laughs> and then my last favorite Disney animated classic is Big Hero 6 um again this is one that I feel like doesn't get enough credit um but I just absolutely love it. I remember going to see it in the cinema and I just fell in love with it then and yeah, I just love watching it now. Baymax is hilarious. There are some fantastic scenes in this. I love the one where um, they've had to come home because he's like deflating and he's trying to get him up the stairs and it's so funny and it reminds me of, you know, when you're trying to get like a drunk friend home. Um, yeah absolutely hilarious love it but there's also some really like serious and sad 
parts to it as well because obviously um, Hero has lost his brother and the, you know there's a lot of stuff around that that I think is done in a really good way and it makes you kind of really feel what it would be like to be in that situation but it's also got action I feel like this has just got a bit of everything and yeah you know again it's not your typical like princess film it is very different um it's set in a, a different country and I just think it's a nice all-rounder um so yeah I'm kind of interested to hear what people think because as I said I don't hear many people talking about it and I don't know why because I think it's a fantastic film um so yeah that is my last favorite so those are my top 10 favourite Disney animated classic films. I hope you enjoyed hearing what I enjoy watching. Um, I'd be really interested to hear your comments on are any of those your favourites? Have I missed out your favourite? Let me know what you think. If you did enjoy it and you'd like to see more videos from me, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment. Like I said, let me know what your favourite animated classics are and whether I've missed anything, whether you've got any comments about any of the ones that I've included. Also, let me know if you'd like to see any other videos. Would you like to see some of my favourite Pixar films or is there any other videos you'd be interested in seeing do let me know because it's always good to hear what you would like to see also follow me on social media my links are in the description bar below but I'll pop them up here as well I'm mainly on Twitter and Instagram so come over and say hello to me on there and I'll see you in another video very soon bye